Hello, welcome along to the Vintage TV Sessions. I'm Bob Harris, and with me on the programme today, Lulu. There's a pimple in the sky The kind you make your wishes on dreams upon It's not there any longer Something happened somewhere and we both know why Oh, but we get stronger We must stop pretending I can't live this life Oh, I wrong or right I don't really want to fight no more It's too much talking baby Let's sleep on it tonight I don't really want to fight no more Time for letting go It doesn't bother me, no. Can you see that I don't care? Are you looking right through me? Seems a little lately. Look at me the wrong way, and I start to cry. And I cry, baby. Situation is the So, Lulu, it's so great to see you. You too. <laughs> the it's... last time probably was at the Electric Proms, wasn't it, at the Roundhouse? Do you remember that? that I was... do remember that. I had the privilege of sitting with you and you interviewed me. I always think it's like a real honour to be interviewed by you. Oh, 
Well, it's an honour to be interviewing it's you. It's true. Particularly, you know, having enjoyed your career right throughout. Yeah. Because, you know, I was a, a great uh, Top of the Pops watcher in 1964 when your career was launched. People have loved your voice from, from day one, and mm. some of the great soul legends of all time have said you are one of the great soul singers. I mean, didn't James Brown pay you huge compliments. He did. Yeah. I mean, I can't remember exactly what, was, what, what he said, but, but something about us coming from the same pond. He and I came from the same... <laughs> me and James Brown, <laughs> give me a five, give me a five. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me, James? <laughs> yeah, that was really, uh, he was fabulous. He, he was just so complimentary. Yeah. It was an amazing time, mm. wasn't it, for you in the late 60s and early 70s? And, and, amazing. You know, having your own weekly TV show mm. at that moment. The, the feeling around that at the time, Lulu, for you, and, and the sort of achievements of, because it wasn't as easy in those days, was it, for women to break through and get their own shows in that way? What, was, what is strange when I look back is how, you know, it was only music. I was only interested in black American music. You know, the soul, the R&B, church music, you know, gospel really got to me. And any pop music that was influenced by that got to me. So uh, when I came in, and, and I came in with Shout. Shout's an old R&B num number, but it turned into like a huge pop song because we edited it and did it, you know, the, the right time to be played on the radio. And then, who knew? Who knew, as they'd say in New York, that I would eventually be the all-round entertainer on the BBC every Saturday night with my own show. And that was because of my manager, Marion. She wanted me to have longevity. And that's how she, did, she guided me and directed me. But it, it was kind of, it's, it's a bit of a, a dream, really, I suppose. Well, I would never have planned that. Here we still are. Yeah, and here we still it? are. We both are. Yeah. <laughs> we both are still kicking. And Shout is still an important part of your, yeah. your stage it is. set, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so I can't I, not do it. In fact, I think you're going to do it for us here on Vintage TV. I'm going to do a little different version. Yeah. A slightly different version. Yeah. So, so we're going to be hearing that in just a moment. Lulu, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We just kind of go, oh, we should do it like that one day, and you never do. But I've just done it, right? So, but you know, I know there's going to be one person who's going to say, but you didn't do my favorite bit. So, will you join me in this bit? Will you join me? Yes. That's a bit better. Hey, hey. Shout, 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 shout,
never shout Will I feel Whoa! 